Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We are back here today. Uh, the mail uh, just ran, the UPS. Uh, it's pouring down and raining. They did cover the box up, thank goodness, because we leave our gates locked. And um, I heard them, went up to the road, and here's this huge box, and it's got the Homestead box road on it. Kind of curious to see what's in it. I'm gonna open it up here. It's heavy too. All right. Oh, I see one reason it was so heavy. It is seed starting stuff here. It's called, the homestead box this time is called a salad garden. It's got Hoss's fresh salad garden collection of seeds, a salad garden book, Hoss garden labels, a drum one touch watering wand, prop tech seed starting tray. I love these seed starting trays, guys. They're the best. Pro mix organic starting mix. This this my starting mix is fantastic. Planters Pride heat mat. Oh, now there, there's what comes. That's the kicker right there, the heat mat. Because at this time of year, it's so hard to get these seeds started right. Move a few of these odd and things out of the way here. And here's the Pro Mix. This is the organic seed starting mix. We got one of these bags from them here a while back to try out. The seeds were up in half the time and they're doing fantastic. Our tomato seeds are up and all and doing fantastic. This thing is some good stuff. They've been in business, I think it's since 1968, I believe. So, um, they're a good company. It also comes with the mycoactive uh, bacteria and all in it. It's uh, It feeds for up to three months. You get 20% bigger plants out of it. I think it's just it's some of the best that I've found so far. Now this right here, guys, the Drom watering wand. We already have one of these that we use in one of our greenhouses. This is going to be perfect. I think Ms. Wanda has actually taken my last one and using it in her little greenhouse. Um, this one will work perfect in my big greenhouse. These things are amazing because of the way they put the water out. They don't spray out in a hard stream. They come out, it's like a gentle shower from a rain whenever it uh, sprays out on it. I love these wands for watering seed trays and stuff. The Dram Rain Wand, to me, is one of the best. It's got the thumb thing here you activate right here. Literally better than the old triggers that used to be on them and stuff. This, this here is the 16 inch blue one. This one is really nice. I think our other one was red or something like that. But um, this one, gonna go to my big greenhouse. This is the way to go, guys. This is a heat mat. These things are fantastic. This joker right here, I'm telling you, is perfect for these setting on for setting these seed trays on to get that soil temperature up to where it needs to be at. All you do is literally just plug them in. They're fantastic. You see the cords wrapped up in them there. You just put this on, on there, set that seed tray on top of it, heat that ground up to about 70 degrees, and those babies will kick and run. Those of you who are up north in a cold, cold climate, having trouble getting your seed started, this stuff right here, uh, this, is, this is really good. I'll put it back in the bag later, but put it back in here for right now. And we get the Hoss Tool seed marking sticks. Even get a Hoss marker pen to go with it. That is awesome. You notice I carry one in my pocket up here all the time. Just for marking on sticks like this. But Hoss has sent us a new pen to, uh, to mark with in, this, in these sticks. Guys, anytime you put anything in a seed tray, you might remember when you're first putting it in there. But a couple of weeks down the road, you'll look at that and go, now, was that the Bella Rosa tomato or was that the Amish paste or which one was it? That's why these things are so important when starting seeds. Then we have this, check out this little metal box here. 
Now that is cool. I I, I like this. I like the tin. I mean, it's oh, look at all the seeds. Wow. Let's see how many different kind of seeds there are in here. Look at that. This says the salad collection. We've got market more cucumbers, California wonder bell peppers, butter crunch lettuce, yellow pear tomato. That is the best little tomato you'll ever eat. Champion radishes. Oh, Ms. Wanda loves her some radishes now. Purple haze carrots. We did fantastic with the purple carrots here. Look at this, salad bowl, red lettuce. Nothing like all these colors together. The red lettuce, the cucumbers, the radishes. Guys, the peppers in there with it. The butter crunch lettuce, the green lettuce, and the red lettuce together. Makes for an awesome, beautiful salad. And it all comes in this nice little tin box. If you're looking for something to save your seeds in, look at that. You could take one of these little boxes and keep nothing but pepper seeds in it, nothing but lettuce seeds in it, or nothing but cucumber seeds in it, and just fill it full of different varieties you'd have for your garden. If you had a lot of these little boxes, you could store all your seeds, and you wouldn't have to worry about insects getting in there to them. Guys, the seeds are just awesome from Hall's Tools. Um, we sell a lot of seeds here at Deep South Homestead, but we're also an affiliate for Hall's Tool Company who sells all their seeds. Their seeds are all tested. They're um, tested for germination so that their rates are real high. They're non-GMO seeds. Uh, they carry some beautiful seeds. Now they also have a seed catalog that they have out. Now this seed catalog, when you open it up, it has all the, uh, the varieties of stuff, the ambrosia sweet corn, the little Jimmy Red field corns, all the different types of seeds that they sell now. You can just go in here. This is a new thing that they've started. And then they have, not only that, they have all the tools that they sell in here. They have their Hoss Garden Cedars. They have the cedar plate kits that you get to go with it. Um, uh, they have the single wheel hose, the double wheel hose. They have the high arch wheel hose in here. Then they have all the different hoe packages that you can get to go with these hoes. And guys, they just keep going on and on. They have the Hoss tubs, the... Uh, the irrigation systems mentioned here. They have these seed trays like we just looked at, the potting mixes, the ones, the grow mixes, the, all the, everything that you need to garden with. There's more of their uh, irrigation system. Then they have fertilized amendments. They have the different fertilizers, the different amendments you need, uh, the lime, the sulfur, the gypsum, anything like that they carry. And then they carry a wide range of hose, uh, we have several of their hose and stuff like that that we use here. These things are fantastic, guys. We've showed them being used on our channel. They have all types of organic pest controls that can be used on your crops. And let's see what else they have in the back of the book here. They also have the collection of garden knives. They have knives for cutting meat. They have machetes and axes and all that kind of stuff shown in here then they have all types of short handle tools for people who do raised beds you can get a array of different tools used for um, doing raised beds then they have different rakes tomato cages shovels all different kinds of uh, trellising ideas for putting up your tomato plants your english peas and stuff then they have brushes for cleaning corn silks they're people who like to ferment, they have the stuff for doing that. Then here on the back, they have the, um, the mock mill, stone grain mill that grinds your uh, flour and corn and stuff down so that you can use it for wheat, can be turned into flour, corn meal, grits, all those kind of things that can be used for. And guys, look, Hoss Tool carries all of your garden needs. So I strongly encourage you to go over and check them out check the description down below we have a link uh, to the seeds we have a link to their tools and everything when you buy through us 
It doesn't cost you any more money, but we do get a few cents off of every sale that we do through Hall's Tool. As an affiliate, it helps us keep our homestead going. and We really appreciate it if you would do that for us to help us keep putting up our videos here at Deep South Homestead. Uh, this is called the Salad Garden Book. Uh, there's an article at the top that says, The minute I finished reading this book, I went outside and sowed some lettuce by Alice Fowler. Uh, the, boy, the book was written by Joy Larkham. Now, the guys, this, look at that. Oh, my goodness. This tells you how to identify all types of salad stuff. It gives you everything about them and what kind of climate it grows in. Look at that, even colored pictures. That is fantastic. Look at that. All about chicory there the different phases, the different types of chicory. Man, I can see right now, me and Ms. Wanda's gonna have a time with this book. Color pictures of everything. Leafy salad plants. Let's see what's in the back of it. Ornamental cabbages and kales. Stems and stalks. Plants that have all the celery, celeriac, all these things, sea kale, all of them have the stems and everything on them. And then we get over into growing tomatoes. Look at that, raising tomatoes, cultivating them. Then we talk about how to raise cucumbers, bell peppers, beans, onions, all the turnips. Guys, look, I'm gonna tell you something right now. All about doing hotbeds, high tunnels, how to grow them, planting dates, this right here, this makes the box worth it right here. The knowledge in this book is what we get asked more questions about on our channel than anything else. And this book right here would probably answer 99% of the questions that get asked to us about gardening. So this book right here is worth whatever this box costs. I'm on, this, this right here, guys, is invaluable. This is the book you need for your homestead, right here. Buy the box for the book. Then, this right here. Now, I've used a lot of seed trays um, gardening over the years. This right here is probably the best seed trays I've ever seen. These things are very heavy plastic. They don't have a tray that goes under the bottom of them. I know you would think that, oh my gosh, that's just horrible. But we actually took one of them to our greenhouse and experimented with it. We put the pot and soil in it that they sent with it. We took our fingers, packed it down in each one of them, and then put more pot and soil in it and leveled it off. Guys, we planted our seeds in it. We have one in the greenhouse right now. Took a pencil and went through and punched the little holes, put our seeds in, poured the water, and it's amazing. When you get ready to take your plants out, they got these holes in the bottom of them here that's about the size of a pencil. You can take a pencil with a racer and push up from the bottom, and these little plants just slide out so easy. They slip right out of there, perfect little plants. It's amazing how these things work. And guys, I mean, this will probably last me the rest of my life. People go to Walmart and the dollar stores and they buy those little bitty trays that, you know, you pick them up and they fold and they twist and they, you, you, they're horrible. Guys, it's worth the money because if you're gonna garden for the rest of your life, why every year keep going to Walmart and buying them flimsy little old trays that you can't even pick them up when you put dirt in them because they fold and collapse on you? Why not go ahead and just spend a little money, get these big heavy duty, this is hard plastic. I mean, look, you can't even, you can't even twist it hardly, it's so hard. You can hold it by one end, it don't all fold up on you or anything like that. 
Easy to get the little plants out, push them up on the bottom. Guys, this right here is worth the money also because it's a one-time buy. It'll last. If you keep it out of the sun during the winter months when you're not using it, and just start your seedlings in it and store it inside in a shop or a barn or a shed. Don't leave it just sitting in a greenhouse baking in the sun all year. This baby right here will last probably 10, 15 years. It's a once in a lifetime cost. We don't have to keep going back every year buying that stuff again. We bought it once and that's it. It'll actually be, probably could be passed down to our, uh, to whoever comes behind us here at Deep South Homestead. So guys, it's kind of a big homestead box, but it's got a lot of valuable stuff in it and I really appreciate it. I want to tell the homestead box company, thank you for putting out such a wonderful box this time. Check out this book, The Salad Garden by Joy Larkham. That will answer about 99% of your questions that you have on gardening and plants. So, we're going to be getting ready to put more seeds in the ground because this box right here has made it possible for us to be able to do all of our seeds this year. Thank you, Homestead Box, and thank you guys for watching Deep South Homestead.